Hey, hello. I built this amazing tic-tac-toe application and it, really, it works really well. I'm proud of it. But I have a huge problem though and that's that I want to show this off to my friends. I want everybody to be able to see. This is right in my computer. And whenever I want to show my friend, I have to take my computer to uh, that friend and say, hey, here's my TikTok application. Check it out. It looks really good. It works really well. Um, if I want to show someone not close to me, that becomes a, a very big problem. Uh, what I want to do is I want to put it in the internet so that all I need to do if I want to show it off to someone, I'll just say, Click on this link and then you have access to my tic tac to application. And that's the problem. So how can I do that? You know what? How can we do that? So let's do it together. What we want to do now is called hosting. That's taking this application, this website from my local computer and then putting it on the internet so that anyone can access it from anywhere. In the past videos, we learned about how to take our code from our local computer and then upload it to GitHub. But the problem with that is I can't send them that link, the link to my GitHub repository, because when they open it, all they're going to see is code. And they'll be like, okay, um, yeah, I can see strange looking letters, so what's up? I want them to be able to see it the same way it shows when I open it in my browser. And that's called hosting basically so let's do that together what i want you to do is go over to any website you've created um, with html and css and then let's see how we can make it show the same way it shows when we open our browser in mean the internet here's the code base for my tic tac toe application before um i'm able to make it show up as a website in the internet I have to take the code to the internet so I'll be using github to upload the code to the internet and then github also has a service called github pages I'll use github to upload the code and then I'll use github pages to host the website so the tic tac -to application will display as a website when we open up a link let's start with initializing a git repository here like we did in the previous videos you open up your terminal and then right inside your terminal git init all right initialize empty git repository here the look at the source control pane on the left hand side now this has the three files we've used to build the tic tac application index.html index.js and main.css let's describe this as initial commit for tic tac toe the next thing we want to do is create the github repository for this application so we'll go back to github and then create the repository okay so right on github what we're going to do is click the plus icon and then new repository We'll name our repository tic tac toe. And then a description. Let's write a tic tac toe application. We'll make this public and create repository. Now that that is done, we can see here where we have pushed an existing repository from the command line. We'll just copy this and then paste it in our terminal. Awesome. That worked. So when we go back to a GitHub and reload uh, this page, we should see our files. Amazing. Right now we have our code base in the internet. So we can now use GitHub pages to host it as a website. This is not going to be difficult. I promise. Let's click on the settings link. And from settings link, look at our settings. Now we have the repository name tic tac -toe. And scroll down scroll down and right here we have github pages so look at the description for github pages github pages is designed to host your personal organization or project pages from a github repository now what we want to do this is the settings for this repository we'll come about the source github pages is currently disabled by default 
You select the source below to enable GitHub pages for this repository. That's the first one. We want to use the master branch because it's where we have our code base right now. And that's it. That's, that's it basically. We've hosted it. Let's scroll down. And then look at this. Your site is ready to be published at ebenezerdon.github.io slash tic tac toe. Now what I'm going to do is click on this link. Look at that. A tic tac toe application back here. Sorry, I just have to win this. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. All right, so it's hosted right now. Look at this. We can take this link and then give it to anyone and wherever they open this link from, they have access to a tic tac toe application. There's no more just local. It's gone global. <laughs> there are other ways you can use GitHub pages apart from hosting an already made application. We can use it to, let's say, host our portfolio site or create our portfolio site. Let's come back to my profile and we'll create a new repository. I want to create a portfolio for myself. New repository right there. And I'll name this repository ebenezerdon.github.io. This is very important. So look at this place where we have a basic tic tac toe application. This is ebenezerdon.github.io slash tic tac toe. What I want to do is I want people to be able to go to just ebenezerdon.github.io and see my portfolio. See, yeah, right now there's in the GitHub pages site here. But I want this to show my portfolio, something about me, you know, just go to epinizadon.github.io. Sounds cool. Um, if your name is super awesome dev, super awesome dev.github.io. That's why right here, it has to be your username.github.io. And then description, my basic portfolio it can be whatever you want. My super portfolio, amazing portfolio and all that create repository okay successfully created now we want to do this from github so that we don't have to write any code on a local computer we can convert to settings and then scroll down again back to where we have github pages I'll look at theme chooser select a theme to publish your site with a jekyll theme using the master branch what we're gonna do click on choose a theme and then let's choose one from these. I think I'll go with, I think I'll go with the first one. The select theme, you can choose whatever you want. And look at the next page we have here, welcome to GitHub pages. So I'll just change this to, hey, I'm Ebenezer, welcome to my amazing portfolio. And then these are instructions for using GitHub pages. You can use the editor on GitHub to maintain and preview the content for your website in Markdown files. We talked about Markdown files in the previous video on GitHub pull request cloning. Whenever you commit to this repository, GitHub pages will run Jekyll to rebuild the pages in your site from the content in your Markdown files. So this is basically Markdown. So what I want to do is comment this change and this is the comment message update index.md and then commit changes. Amazing. So this is what we have in our index.md file. Hey, I'm Ebenezer. Welcome to my amazing portfolio. It shows like this here. Remember, we chose a theme for our GitHub pages, the Jekyll theme. So we come back to ebenezerdawn.github.io where we had 404 error and then we reload. Amazing. <laughs> Look at that. ebenezerdawn.github.io My basic portfolio. Hey, I'm Ebenezer. Welcome to my amazing portfolio. And that's about it. So you can learn more um, about how to style this from the instructions we were given. You can also come over to pages.github.com and then you see more about GitHub pages and how you can use it. There are other platforms you could host our websites on apart from GitHub pages. Uh, there are platforms like AWS, Heroku, Netlify, and uh, many other hosting services. For me, GitHub pages is the easiest for HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And that's basically an overview of hosting and using GitHub pages to show off our website to the world. Let me know if you found this helpful in the comment box below. And then share. See you in the next video.